Cyclone fans, we are here for another episode of Cyclones TV. I'm Sarah Kincart. And I'm Dave Van Gorder. And due to some inclement weather last week, we had a couple of rainouts, but that means extra baseball this week, including a doubleheader tonight and then a doubleheader tomorrow morning at 1130. The Cyclones will then hit the road and go to State College for the first time all season before ending the week in Connecticut. But let's take a quick look at how they did last week. Last week, the Cyclones went 1-3 with two postponed games against Hudson Valley on Wednesday and Thursday. But Friday, they returned home for Independence Day. The Cyclones celebrated the 4th of July with their fans with vibrant fireworks after the game and a special stadium seat dedication to the prisoners of war. Saturday, the Cyclones hosted the highly talked about Seinfeld Night. With more than 8,000 Seinfeld enthusiastic fans, the salute to Seinfeld was a hit. The Soup Nazi made a special guest appearance and led the crowd in many pregame events, including an Elaine dance contest, a cereal eating contest, and batting practice with coaches and players wearing the puffy shirts. In Sunday's matinee against the Ironbirds, the Cyclones were able to snap a five-game losing streak. The Brooklyn Bats came alive with all of the starters getting at least one hit during the game, leading to a 7-0 victory. Our Player of the Week is first baseman Jeff Deal. The Rhode Island native went 7 for 15 on the week with a pair of doubles, a home run, and five ribbies. He also currently has a 10-game hitting streak. Congratulations to our Player of the Week, Jeff Deal. All right, it's time for the top plays of the week. Starting us off at number five, a slow roller up the middle. Rosario is there, and Ahmed, Ahmed, I say to you, nice play. And coming in at number four, a set of throwouts from Tomas Nito. The catcher picks it up and guns down runners left and right. First, second, you're out of there. Coming in at number three, Dimas Ponce doing his best Kobe impression. The fadeaway, throwing back to Jeff Deal at first to nail the runner by a hair. And at number two, a single to right field over to Michael Bernal, who picks it up and cannons it over to third base. Just in time to get the runner. Sorry, no soup for you. And our top play of the week, Juan Urbina says, It's all right, because I'm saved by my glove. Yes, they say dogs are a man's best friend. For Juan Urbina, I'd say it's his glove, considering it saved his life on that hard shot up the middle, and he was still able to make the play at first as well. Congrats, Juan Urbina, on the top play of the week. And fans, it's now time to take a look around the organization. The Savannah Sand Nats are in first place in all of the South Atlantic League right now. They are 58 and 26 and are currently riding a 10 game winning streak. Red hot. Down in sunny Florida, the St. Lucie Mets won all six of their games last week and hold on to first place with a total record of 52 and 32. The Mets up in Binghamton went 3-4 last week and hold on to second place in the Eastern Division of the Eastern League. They currently have a 51-37 record on the season. The Las Vegas 51s have been playing out of this world this season. They're still in first place in the Pacific Coast League Pacific Southern Division. They went 5-3 this week. Vegas, baby! And that's all for now. We'll check back with the Mets organization next week. And that's all we have for this week's episode, but make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at BK Cyclones. For Cyclones TV, I'm Sarah Kincart. And I'm Dave Van Gorder. We'll see you next week.